Uh, this is derivatives of trig functions, AP calculus AB. Uh, I'm going to start with this one, and probably when you see it, you'll be asking, Charlie, how do you figure that this is a trig function? But I'm wondering if you can see what the author has done to you here. So it's like this. So this is a question I think is uh, most likely to show up on the AP uh, Calc AB uh, exam multiple choice part. And what I'm hoping is this. This really is just a trig problem, if you can recognize this. If you remember that ln is the same as log base e, right? So what this really says is the translation of this ln is log base e right, of e to the tan squared x, right? Now, I guess from here, what you'd have to, what you'd have to be able to remember is this, that this is a question, right, and this can possibly be simplified. The question that this provides, if we put this into exponential form, is that this e is this one, and it says that here that e to some power right, is equal to e, that's this e right here, isn't it, to the tan squared x power. So e to what power, right? So this simplifies out, doesn't it? Because, right, if I take this right here, and I say, well, to the tan squared x power, the answer, the simplification of this problem is this bit right here, isn't it? So what we really have is a trigonometric function, which is tan squared x, isn't it? Okay, from, so I'm hoping that you saw that. And from here, I just want to just go back over some of this stuff, right? And there are these rules, and hopefully you have them all memorized, and I, and I trust that you do. If you don't, it's the greatest investment of time that you can spend right now, right? So what we know is this. Uh, I guess the next thing I would do is this to show it to you how this is the way I think I would do it. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take y equals tan of x times tan of x because, of course, if we have tan squared x, we have tan x times tan x, don't we? Okay, so having said that, I'm going to set this up as product rule, so I'm going to, I'm going to start to make my list of parts. And for those of you who know me, you know I'm a big list builder because I'm going to take the parts that I'm going to need for the for the quotient, I'm sorry, for the product rules, so f of x is tan of x, isn't it? And the first derivative of tan of x, what is the first derivative of tan of x but secant squared x, right? And these are things you should have memorized. Redundantly, because the second function is the first one, g of x is equal to tan x also. And g prime at x, lo and behold, is also equal to secant squared x. But that helps us to build our product rule, right, which is f of x tan x times g prime at x secant squared x, right, plus, this is, I'm just applying the product rule here, tan of x times secant squared x. Now, so here's the, deri here's the derivative here, here's y prime here, and there are things we can do here. I don't I don't care so much if you want, you can, you know, y prime is equal to tan x, x times the quantity secant squared x plus secant squared x is fine with me. In this particular problem, though, what if you were asked to evaluate this thing at a specific value? What if you were asked to evaluate y prime at um, pi fourth? So that would have a numeric value, wouldn't it? So from here, what is tan of pi fourths? Of course, you're on the unit circle. You're at 45 degrees, which, and this has a cosine value of square root 2 over 2, a sine value of square root 2 over 2, doesn't it? So what you would do is this. So tan of this is this over this, which is 1, isn't it? So that's 1. And what is secant squared? So secant is 1 over cosine, isn't it? So 1 over square root 2 over 2. If you're wondering why I have this in a double set of parentheses, one set of parentheses is this one right here. And the other set is because it says, it says secant squared. So I have to square this value, don't I? Sorry, right? Plus, same thing again, so 1 
over square root 2 over 2 quantity squared, right? So if you do this math out here, right, this, this squared is this, is 1 over 2 fourths plus 1 over 2 fourths, which of course is equal to a total of 4, right? Because these things come up as they are reciprocals, don't they? So 4 over 2 is actually equal to 2, and 2 plus 2 is 4, so the answer here is 4. Okay, I think that's a really interesting problem um, because it tells us a lot of things. One, it reminds us we better know our unit circle pretty well. And also, it reminds us that when we look at something, we need to ask ourselves some questions. What do I know about this? Because this could have turned into a mess. And there is a way to do this in this form, but why not just simplify it and get to this, right? Okay, you guys, keep up the good work.